Oh, what happened here? <clears throat> well, I took the shredder apart because that's an 8 horse motor and I knew it had a tapered shaft but it's not the same as the tapered shaft from the generator as you can see so that motor won't work and I toyed with the idea of taking it apart and putting that crank in it but that would be a pain if I need the shredder this summer so I'm on the lookout for an 8 horse Briggs horizontal shaft um, hopefully one that will turn up that runs I don't really care what shaft is in it because I can put this shaft in it and I can put this end housing on it which has the mounting bolts in it for the generator so that project is kind of stalled um, <clears throat> but I am going to put that back together and I have a new ballast for my light I took the ballast out of that light and put in this light because I need the light over the bench so I got this ballast I'm gonna put in that light and I'm gonna see if I can turn that light sideways right over the center of that bay maybe that'll light it better either that or maybe I'll move it over and put it this way right here over this bay um, and I also got this little doohickey it's a primer button for the weed whacker because the one on the weed whacker went bad last year um, this weed whacker here is one of the free ones that I got with a bunch of that junk that's a Craftsman 31cc that's got the angle drive head on it it's a really nice weed whacker it's an 18 inch dual string trim brush whacker <clears throat> and it run pretty good last year when I had it running but the primer bulb got a hole in it it actually disintegrated so I took the primer bulb out of one of the other free weed whackers and that one disintegrated almost immediately. So $5.35 I got a new one. So I'm gonna what I want to do is I want to put this together so I can put that away and then probably put these parts over here on the corner of the bench out of the way until I get a new motor for the generator and fix the weed whacker and I think I'm going to do some rearranging in here because I'm thinking I want to move those cars around. But I don't know yet. <clears throat> it's supposed to be a really nice weekend and I don't have any other plans. So perhaps I will get some things moved around. There's a bunch of stuff in the back there that really needs to go and doesn't really need to be in there. And I can't really get to it. And yeah. But I don't know if I want to tackle moving a bunch of this stuff or not so we'll see anyway it's gonna be a gorgeous weekend sunshine and high 70s it's supposed to be so we will see what happens I'm gonna put this back together here so I can get this out of the middle of the floor and go from there well as I'm putting this together there was a crack in this flywheel right here <clears throat> So I got the welder out and welded it and I didn't want to grind any off because I wanted it to be as strong as possible. So I put a gob on this side in the same spot. It didn't look cracked here but if it was cracked it's welded and if it's not it'll kind of keep that in balance I hope. Because uh, I didn't want to like I said grind any off from there. So, But it's going back together. It'll be back together here shortly. Alrighty. She's all back together. Um, just see if it'll start. Check the oil here. Nice and clean. Oop, nice and clean. It's about eh, about an eighth of an inch down on the full. But it's in the good mark. But I did have it tipped back, so. Alright. This is kind of a pain in the neck. This little fuel valve is up under here. Which is really a pain to open. I think that's open. Now... It's definitely not been run, so we will choke her. This thing usually starts good because it's got a really heavy flywheel, so you get her pulled over and it just goes and goes and goes and it'll usually start. Not always. Now this hasn't been run since last spring. I think there's gas in it. I should check that. Ew, not much. There's a little bit in there. Switch is on, choke is on, it's got an automatic governor on it. So, here we go. See if she'll do with one pull.
Yep. It takes it a second to get warmed up and you have to feather the choke a little bit because it does go wide open throttle. You know, not wide open, but it's uh, whatever the governors are set for. And it usually takes it a little bit to get warmed up, but it did start first pull, just like I thought. All right, well, I'm gonna pick up some of this mess, get my fluorescent light working. Probably get it turned. I think turning it would be a good idea. So I'll get that turned and rehung, plugged in, and yeah, we will go from there. All righty, I got the light ballast in and the light hung the opposite way in the barn which should give some more light over this area especially you know in the night when it's dark all right so i got the primer bulb installed and i've had it running i had to adjust on the carburetor <clears throat> and i got to find the air cleaner i don't know what happened to it i think it was on the bench and probably got put away with the other small engine parts um but i should be able to put my fingers on it but I had to adjust the carburetor a little bit because she didn't want to run good. And it doesn't rev up good, but I don't remember. I think I might have changed this carburetor, and it might actually be too small for this. But it does have a very heavy head. And once it's revved up, it runs beautiful. So I don't know if that's normal, but... But it starts good and it winds up good doesn't seem to lug down so I'm gonna leave it alone that's usually the best thing to do with small engines if you get it running halfway decent especially if it's old you know I don't know how many hours this thing's got on it but it was in the junk and I got it for free so if it runs at all that's pretty good so I'm going to see about knocking down some of these weeds and uh, probably that'll be it for today I'll upload this later this evening, and we'll see what tomorrow brings. Thanks for watching.